Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. This video, you've got a review of the AC Infinity range of products for indoor growing. AC Infinity were, um, up to recently, were well known in the indoor growing industry for their inline fans. They have produced um, high quality inline extraction fans for the market for a long time now and uh, are well established in the industry. And recently they've begin, begun to expand out into other products. So they have um, carbon filters to go with the fans. They've got um, grow light range coming out now. They've got um, circulation fans um, coming out now. And probably key, what I'm really looking closely at here today is they've got, they pulled all these um, devices together with controllers, with connectors and controllers called the Universal Infinity System. And this is allowing you to um, basically connect all these devices together through a single controller and to control it then um, either through the control interface itself or you can connect by Bluetooth with an app to this controller interface and get advanced programming features. Um, I've just set it up now the last day or so. I found it really easy and intuitive um, to put it together. A couple of little quirks, which took me a, a little bit of time to get my head around, which I'll get into. But overall, the hardware, beautifully designed, really high quality products, uh, very thoughtful in terms of the packaging and the instructions and certification and everything else that goes with them. Uh, they look great. Um, in terms of the fans here, I don't know if you can hear them at all, but run beautifully silent, particularly at their lower speeds, all variable speed equipment. And um, yeah, just really high quality equipment overall. I previously reviewed their um, grow light, which um, I found was excellent. Uh, build quality, beautifully designed, lovely controls, uh, modular. Uh, lots of uh, really nice features like that and very good value for money too for um, for the quality of product that it is. So overall, really impressed with AC Infinity so far and uh, just going to try and share with you my experience of um, connecting these all up and setting them up as a environment control system. As I said, all the equipment comes uh, beautifully packaged and boxed as you can see um, and once I unpacked all the gear, I just simply hung it up. Just to note, I'm in a two by two here. This is the size of the light, but I've got the six inch circulation fan and six inch extract fan, which is obviously an overkill for this tiny little tent. You can maximum go with the four inch. Um, so it does look a little bit clumsy in here, but however, I just have it hung at the top of the tent, the extract fan, just for uh, demonstration purposes. Obviously you'd have filters and ducting if you're installing properly and uh, some house plants here in the bottom and um, yeah this is the ion grid uh, grow light uh, i tested this separately before i put it into the tent and you can see here the par chart uh, showing it's got a really nice even spread um, just drawing 113 114 watts Average power 642 micromoles per meter square per second. A pretty good system efficiency of 2.03 micromoles per watt. It's not the same as the one I, I looked at previously, the ion board, um, but it is um, a nice fixture. It doesn't have the hole in the center, as I said with the other light, but it does have the LEDs spaced so that they're more dense towards the edges and less dense in the center and pretty much delivering the same kind of even spread that the uh, the other version does. These can also be connected together to make a modular system so you can expand them out in grids um, and connect them together and of course control them together which is what we're looking at today. So each of these devices has a USB port or cable coming from it and um, and a power cable obviously. So power them up and then um, connect them into the controller. Um, it's the cloud line, uh, the controller 69 I should say. 
um, and this has four ports on the rear for four different devices or sets of devices and an additional port here to connect the uh, temperature sensor, temperature and humidity sensor, so your environmental um, sensor. It has a nice long cable on it and you can uh, drop it down in the tent into your canopy level so that uh, you're controlling at the right area. If you wish to connect um, more devices than just simply the four um, matching the ports, there are uh, expansion cables. So you can connect, for example, one into one port here, and then you can expand out that connection uh, to have multiple units then off the same port. Um, I can't remember, it goes up to quite a lot of units anyway, more than uh, you would probably ever need. Um, and yeah, once they're connected up then, you just simply um, select in your controller the device and you set up the parameters. You can set up all the basic parameters such as the on speed, uh, the off speed, or the low speed, um, timers, schedules, all that sort of stuff. Really, to get the full functionality, it's best to connect this to the app and, um, and to use the app to set up your devices and all the features. And that's what we're gonna look at now. So you simply download the AC Infinity app and then um, go through the procedure to connect, link the um, controller that you're using to the app. And then once it's connected, um, we will see um, the device is connected to the ports. So there's three ports activated, three ports connected and three ports activated as you can see here. And you can see the temperature and humidity settings are feeding back to the, uh, to the controller and through the app. I go into any of the specific devices. Um, so port one, um, in this case, is the grow light. And you can see on the dial, it's saying that the, uh, I've, I've set it up, uh, it's on schedule. I've set it up to start at 9 a.m. and finish at 3 p.m. And you can see the little yellow indicator um, indicating where it is in that schedule. For each device, you can have a number of different basic settings. So you can have off. Um, now this is not just off, but also can be the minimum or low setting. Um, Makes sense to you hopefully in a minute. So on, I have it on low here, so it's not too high, too bright for the camera. So on is set to one. So when the schedule switches it on, it'll come on at one. When the schedule switches it off, it'll go off at zero, because that's what we've set them at. You can have an auto setting, which will be um, triggered then by temperature or humidity. You can have cycles, so going on for five hours, off for five hours, for example. A time to on and a time to off, which if I wanted to leave this on for 12 hours and then it switched off and stayed off, I could do that or, or uh, vice versa. Uh, switch on in a period of time and then set up a schedule Schedule being the one I think that people will use most often. That's back to the original screen. So that's how you would set up a light. You then have a um, fan. And uh, this is the extract fan. So soaking the air out. And obviously if you want to control the temperature in the grow room, we can have multiple speeds here. So we can have a basically a, a, a high speed. So if we look in at the off speed I've set here is for one, so it's just idling, and that's what it's doing at the moment. We can then have an on speed, so a higher speed of seven. And you might hear it just ramping up there in terms of the noise. And then we have the auto setting. And you can see on the auto setting, I've set the temperature trigger that the um, fan will, the extract fan will come on or go to the high speed uh, at 25 degrees centigrade. Um, otherwise, it'll be at off or the low speed, which I've set to, um, to idle at one. So at the moment, it's idling at one because you can see the indicator says it's 12.3 uh, degrees centigrade. It's winter, it's cold in the showroom. 
Um, but you can see the red dial there indicating that when it goes up to 25, that the fan will come on, or go to the high speed, I should say. Um, and if I heat up this temperature probe now, while you're watching, um, you should see temperature jump up. I think I've got some body heat here. And we should hear the extract fan. Um, there it goes, it's starting already. You can see the level it's at on the, the side there, up to seven. So it's at the high speed um, because it's reached that high temperature. It'll help you control. Um, you always have a minimum airflow through the tent and also uh, be able to increase the speed of the fan when the temperature goes high to increase the airflow through and reduce. So you can also do that with humidity. You can set particular uh, trigger points for the fan to, do, uh, to go to different speeds um, when the humidity changes. And then we have the um, port three, which is currently connected to the circulation fan. And again, you can have humidity triggers it gets, I've set it to 80% there. So if it gets to 80%, um, you can see here at the on, it's going to go to four. Uh, at the moment it's off and it's set to one. So it's just idling. Some other features of the um, app. So you can um, have, you can have various automation schedules. You can have, uh, you can see the history and you can download logs. You can see here, you've got, uh, you can see the temperature spike there when I, um, when I held the temperature probe and the humidity spike there below and your VPD is then calculated from that. See your temperature distribution over time. And then you got history logs and alarms. So you can get uh, notified of alarms and um, you know, any particular actions that the system took. So you can look back in the history and see if something went wrong or wasn't optimized as far as you wanted it to, to, um, to look at that and uh, look at the history logs, see what the issue was, and then you know rectify it with some new control settings or whatever. That's really the overview. It's uh, got great instructions, really easy to follow. I think the on and off thing was the only thing that confused me, um, that on also means high um, and off also means the low setting. And, uh, you know, I've had it, as I've said, I've been playing around with it and managed to set it up where I want to and test it in terms of humidity and um, temperature settings all in 30 minutes. You know, it really, really was that straightforward. It's very intuitive and um, really enjoyed um, setting it up. So thanks very much to AC Infinity for, for sending this really innovative and cool product. Um, it's really setting the bar high, I think, for the rest of the industry in terms of its usability, its sort of relative simplicity, and um, yeah, as I said, surprisingly good value for money for such a nice, we finished, nicely thought out um, piece of equipment or pieces of equipment. So I hope you enjoyed. As I said, please leave any comments or questions you have below and I will get back to them as soon as possible. Take care.